Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques and this is Easier Practical Applications of Machine Learning Algorithms in R. We are now in Lesson 6, Unit 1, and we're going to do an overview of support vector machines for numeric prediction. This is a new chapter as you can tell. And so this is a much shorter chapter. We're going to just have um, three videos here. We're going to, of course, give an overview of support vector machines for numeric prediction first. Then we're going to go into preparing the data and then we're going to move to uh, model development and testing. We're not going to spend time playing with different types of kernels. <clears throat> you could do that on your own time because you learned the basics of how to do that in chapter five. So having said that, let's go ahead and proceed to um, overview of support vector machines for numeric prediction. So when we're dealing with um, support vector machines for numeric prediction we're just trying to it's almost like regression except using the kernel tricks and the other things that are available for our purposes and so you have to keep that in mind that what you're trying to do primarily is to reduce the amount of error that your model is going to produce by you know using the hyperplanes and the, and the margins and the, and the support vectors of course and that is kind of what we're going to be focusing on here in this particular video so here we go. So one thing that I want to bring up is the idea of the kernel. We talked about this before. And the kernel transforms the features of the variables in many different ways. But there's something connected with that called the cost function. And so what it does is that this function, it gives a penalty for examples being on the wrong side of the margin. So if something is predicted to be like, you know, this value, but it's over there on the other value, it'll give a, a penalty. And so the, the, the larger the cost function is, the fewer misclassifications that are allowed. In other words, uh, it, when it gets very expensive, the computer will try to find ways to deal with it. <clears throat> and so in the context of numeric prediction, you're trying to make a model that has the least amount of error. That is your primary goal because that hopefully will help to improve the accuracy of your numeric predictions and the values that you're trying to consider. So. And that pretty much wraps up what we're going to talk about here for the preparation, or I'm sorry, for the overview of support vector machines for numeric prediction. In the next video, we're going to take a very close look at data preparation for support vector machines for numeric prediction. But I want to be careful because uh, the preparation of the data always depends on whatever the context is and the characteristics of that particular data. So my name is Dare Thomas. I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. This is easier, practical applications of machine learning algorithms in R. Take care.